Doc Owen here with Action Figure Times. We're continuing looking at Marvel Legends Reboot. Now we're looking at the fifth figure in the series, and this is the Constrictor. Now the Constrictor is, you know, the rogue agent, you know, as it says right here, rogue shield agent. Uh, he's got these little things. Now, I used to think there really wasn't that much difference between Constrictor and Whiplash. I mean, except I guess in the end, he's going to squeeze you and Whiplash is going to beat the crap out of you with those things. But uh, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, basically they kind of have the same weapon. Uh, but this is actually a cool representation. It is from the Terax series, so it comes with the upper torso. You can see it pretty prominently displayed right there. And um, I'm hoping this figure is a lot of fun. So let's get him open and take a look at him. All right, so here we are looking at the Constrictor, and this toy actually has some pretty cool features. But before we get into that, we get the upper torso of Terax. Pretty cool. We get part five of six. Talks a little bit about Surfer whipping Terax's butt and then exiling him and stuff. And then the back here tells us about our piece. Now, a couple things I like about this figure. First off, I think that's a very cool sculpt. They, he's got some major teeth going for him there. If you can't see it real good here, you can go to aftimes.com and I'm sure that you can, uh, we'll, we'll get a good shot of those. And he needs, you know, I, I guess Shield didn't have a very good dental plan. It's a nice looking outfit. Very nice. He's backed with the cantaloupe hips, which I think is strange considering his shoulder joints. These are probably one of the coolest shoulder joints I've ever seen. I want to see this for Wolverine, you know, where he can reach back and stuff. But the way it moves, and we'll, I'll try to show you a little bit more close up. There's a couple things I think are lacking in this toy. I think these should have had wires where I could wrap them around somebody, you know, like that. But I don't. I think that maybe even if you're going to make them like this, maybe even removable where they plug in and out, where you can kind of slide them in and out, that would have been kind of neat. Of course, I guess you could have lost them. But uh, I think that would have been very, very neat. But it is a very cool sculpt. It's a great looking figure. And uh, let me show them to you up close. This line has been showing itself to have some tremendous head sculpts and none more so than this guy right here. Look at that. I mean, that is awesome. Look at the detail. Look at the fanatical, or fanatical look on his face. I mean, these things are just wild. I mean, they, they have done an awesome job with this. Those teeth. Now, he's got plenty of articulation. Moves around a lot. Now, one thing I was showing you was is this. Look at that shoulder, the way that shoulder moves. That is just awesome. Again, I want to see it with Wolverine spreading it out, but th these are very, very cool. He's got elbow joints, biceps. No wrist, probably because of their because of uh, his uh, constrictors. Constrictors are just regular rubber. His feet will turn though. He's got a little bit of that going on. Really, really excellent figure. Again, if you want to get your hands on Wave Two, you need to go to EnchantedToyChest.com. Uh, maybe you can still secure a pre-order. This is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. Hope you've enjoyed looking at the Constrictor. We'll see you next time at AFTimes.com.